Hi, my name is Ryan Parker. I'm the product manager for the homepage. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use the logged in homepage to learn new information about your family and to get ideas for doing next steps. To access the logged in homepage, you need to click sign in, enter your credentials and click sign in again. And the first page you come to is your logged in homepage. Now the logged in homepage is personalized for you. So it'll contain information that is just for you. On the left hand side, we have what is called the memories feed. The memories feed contains photos, documents, and stories that other people have added about your ancestors in the shared family tree. As those things are added to your tree, they'll show up and this, this feed will be constantly changing. You can customize this feed based on your preferences. For example, if you wanna remove a photo from this feed, click the three dots at the bottom and click hide memory. And then the photo will, will be removed from your feed. Now, if you made a mistake and wanna bring it back, just click undo and it'll come back. But if you wanna receive, remove all of the memories for, for certain ancestors, for, so for example, let's say I don't wanna see any memories from Joseph Smith Lowe. Again, I just click the three dots. I click remove Joseph Smith Lowe from this page, confirm that I actually want to remove him, and then he'll be removed and you won't see any more memories from that ancestor. Now, again, if you made a mistake, just click undo and it'll come back. On the right hand side of the page, we also have tools that you can use to give you ideas for next steps and things that you can do to discover more about your family. This is what we call recommended tasks. Recommended tasks are customized for you based on your what is in your tree. So for example, if you're just getting started, we may ask you to enter your father, enter your mother, or enter a grandmother's birthday or other information. Because my tree is full and I already have all that information, I have record hints for my recommended tasks. Now, if I wanna see how I'm related to these ancestors that show up in my recommended tasks, I click view relationship. The relationship viewer appears and I can see how I'm related. In this case, this is my fourth great grand uncle. If I decide I wanna act on that record hint, I can click the record hint icon It'll open up and tell me where this record hint came from. This came from a record collection called Norway Baptisms. I can open it and see more information about this record. Now, if I decide I wanna attach the record hint, I would just click review and I would go and attach the record hint. I'll, also, if I don't wanna see this anymore in my recommend task, I could just click ignore and it'll be removed from the recommend task and I won't see it the next time I log in. Again, if I made a mistake, I can just click undo. Other great, features that we have is the recent people which shows you the most recent people that you've clicked on and touched in the tree so you can remember who you were working on or who you were looking at we have a to-do list that'll help you keep track of things that you um, are working on or things that you want to remember to do um, so for example to to add an item i would just simply type it in and i would say research Mabel Smith, click add, and it shows up in my, my to-do list. When I'm completed, I can just check it, and it'll go into my recently completed items. If I wanna put it back in my list, I uncheck it and it shows up again. Or if I wanna delete, I just click the X. These are some of the tools you can use to discover more about your family and get ideas for next steps to continue your research. I hope that you find the logged in home place use, useful. We encourage your feedback and comments and hope that you have a wonderful experience with our product.